Well, this is a video I ne never thought I'd had to make, but I'm doing this. And let's jump right in, without any preamble. So, around 2021, when I was 12 or 13, I was really big on writing stories on Wattpad. And overall, I still do like writing stories even if it isn't on Wattpad at the moment. Anyways, and recently I was changing my email address on my Wattpad account and decided to take a look at some of the stories I wrote. Most of them are bad, but that's not what is important. What is important is that there was one story I wrote that's just terrible. And it remained uncompleted when I found it, thankfully. Because if I had completed it, it would have been the absolute worst thing I've ever written. Worse than the Raven series. Which I might delve into later. But... Let me introduce you to the Diary of Regina Toppings. This story focuses on Regina and her family, and they're black. And trust me, that detail is important. And it's about Regina's life during a time where non-Caucasian people are being exterminated. Yeah, that's bad. Now. Before I explain why that was such a bad thing to even write about at the time, I should explain why I would even write about that. This was around the whole Black Lives Matter movement and the pandemic, and I already had the desire to make a world a better place, but the pandemic and Black Lives Matter movement really amplified that desire, and I guess because of that desire, I wrote this single ch chapter because I thought if I wrote this, it could help make the world a better place and help those who are still racist to this day just finally stop. Did I ever say I always thought I was the main character in my life at that point? Because looking back at it, Jesus, why did I want to be the one person to change the world? Anyways, looking back at my motives, it's surprisingly not the worst thing in the world. I personally think it was commendable that I, that I would even try to help. And keep in mind, I had no idea what I could have done to help at that time, so that was my only option. But looking at my motives isn't going to help my case in any way, or at least not that alone, because I also need to address why this was such a bad decision in the first place. Firstly... I am not black. I am half white, half Hispanic, who's partly Irish. Although I don't know many specifics on that. Anyways, because I'm not black, I cannot relate or even talk about black issues on my own. Because I wouldn't know the hardships that black people go through in this particular topic. Especially during that time. And that brings us to the second topic. I have never faced racism, ever. Yes, I have seen hatred and homophobia firsthand, especially now, but never racism, never seen or faced it. And I think it'd be important to at le have at least seen or faced it to write about it, or at least hear from people who have gone through it. But I know this segment would be focusing on the whole why that was a bad thing ordeal, but I want to say something in my defense. I was clueless. I was clueless about the issue and the whole complexity of racism and that and it isn't simply racism bad because here's the thing. I heard about racism either from school or the news but I've never been shown it, or experienced it. And I don't blame anyone for that, because I think if I had been shown racism and heard it, maybe I would have had a deeper understanding of it. I maybe would have realized it isn't actu it is actually more complex than racism bad. But 
who knows? Because it is such a deeply rooted issue in some people. Regardless of the what ifs, it doesn't change how I was just clueless and oblivious to the issue. But if I ever did try to, that story again, what would I change or do differently? Well, I'd actually listen to people. I'd ask them if this is a good or bad idea, and instead of trusting my own instincts, I'd listen and hear them out. And I would consult people who have faced racism on how I could portray such issues faithfully with this ridiculous as hell concept. And speaking of the concept, I'd obviously change it. I am never going to remake or retry the Diary of Regina Toppings ever, but I think I'd reuse the character for a better story. Maybe a story focusing and, and just, just about a black family and their life. Not big racism bad and people dying, but something that's more universal. It would actually happen in real life. I also deleted the original story. Yeah, I know that wasn't the best thing to do. Because as many people have stated, erasing or censoring things from the public's view doesn't do anything to help. If anything, the situation would get worse and would likely repeat itself. But here's the thing. I had to do it for my sake. I would just hate and loathe myself if I kept that story on Wattpad. So I just deleted it. But honestly, if I never made this video, I could have lived my entire life forgetting about Regina Toppings and this story. And so would the world. But if I truly was sorry, then why wouldn't I have made this video? If I didn't, I'd just be running from the issue. And I and I think if I if it ever did become a like the next big thing, and then I'd release the apology video, the whole message would be significantly weaker. Instead of actually saying sorry when I was sorry, I'd say sorry when it comes to bite me in the butt? No thank you. But yes, with this apology, I'm not expecting this to just be erased. Cause regardless of how many times I say sorry, the issue still happened. I'm going to live my entire life knowing I made that story. And that's okay. Not making the story. But I'm, 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 obviously, I'm obviously not okay with making the story, ever. But I'm going to be okay with living with myself. In the end, anyways. Because I know I at least said and made the attempt to actually say sorry to the public. Regardless of if people forgive me or not, if if you don't forgive me and I won't I won't judge or and, and I completely understand. I also might reuse the character of Regina Toppings to make up for deleting the original story. Also, I do want to say, although I am st still a teen, I actually do now have a deeper understanding of these issues. Not completely keep that in mind, since I have never directly faced racism, but much more of an understanding than I did in 2021. But I will never have a, the deep, kind of deep understanding that people who have actually faced racism and lived to tell the tale have, so, you know. And because I am indeed still a teenager, I am also not very mature in many other ways. But that's just the norm with teenagers, I suppose. So, as my final message to the black community, anyone who's ever faced racism, and anyone else who would have been appalled by those past actions, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for trying to make a story like this when I had no real knowledge or understanding of those issues beyond the absolute bare minimum.